Today I'm going to show you 10 different flare bartending pours using three very, very powerful techniques which will not only change your flare skill but also your bartending skill. And the best part is that each move is going to take you about 10 minutes to learn. Stick around. Hi, my name's Tom. I've been a bartender for 20 years and I competed as a flair bartender for over 15 years, winning multiple UK Championship and World Championship titles, winning over 80 competitions worldwide. So if you want to know about flair bartending, look no further. You are in the right place. Whether you are a complete beginner or a seasoned pro, I have something for everybody. So if you're new around here, click that subscribe button and smash the like button so that you can learn new moves with me every single Friday. Right, before we get onto those 10 moves, I need to teach you those three very powerful techniques which you're gonna use in today's video and you'll use for the rest of your flair and bartending career. The first one is the finger twist. Looks like this, super simple. So if your bottle is in front of you, hand out, twist it towards you and you're gonna grab the bottle between your index finger and your middle finger. And then from there, you're literally gonna swing the bottle back over and you're gonna grab in between your thumb and your index finger, and my other three fingers are at the back of the bottle here. So all together, whoosh, simple as that. Okay, technique number two is the hinge, and it allows you to turn objects over, or make figures of eight, or just to let you fancy things around a little bit whilst you're holding it in your hand. And it's very, very simple to achieve. You can either hold it with your middle finger and your thumb, and you create this, this hinge, or if you feel more comfortable, you can use your index and your middle finger and your thumb. And you can do it this way, you can do it with this way, or if you have a bottle, you can even do it with the neck of your bottle. Any item you have in your hand, you can make this hinge. And then from there, you can use this hinge to fancyify your moves. Mm -hmm. The third and final technique is the bottle twist, and it looks like this. This basically comes from baton twirling. All you're doing is grabbing hold of the bottle in tennis grab. So that's palms away, thumbs down, grab the bottle. If I turn the bottle towards me, if I want to continue turning, I let it drop in between my thumb and my hand, turn over and bring it back to this position. But you want to swing it like this. And you can do it inside as well. So outside, outside, inside. Outside of my hand, inside of my hand. You'll find it easier one way or the other, but if you can get this motion going, then these next moves are gonna be much, much easier. And you should be able to try and get it with both hands. And if you get really good. Right, time to jump into those 10 moves. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. The simple hinge is the first one, and all you're doing is you're turning the tin over for a 360. We're using that hinge technique I've just spoken about. You're gonna grab hold of the shaker at the base, and you're gonna let it tip. But obviously, if you let it tip there, it's gonna hit the bar top. So as it tips, you lift your hand up. Now, once you get to this point, you're gonna grab hold of it, move it over, place it on the bar top. Now the trick here is to not lift up the tin and put it down, is to try and keep it as close to the bar top as possible, so it almost skims the bar top. And then at the same time, you bring the bottle over to make your pour. To try and make it look like you're already pouring before the tin has even turned over. So, oh, it all looks super fast, super awesome. <laughs> Right, the next is the tin twist with a long pour. Now this move you'll see can be used in the other moves and you can basically do this move with any bottle because all the work is being done with the tin. Hold the bottle regular grip, tin in tennis grip, so tin on the bar top, you're gonna bring the tin in front, in front of you with the back of your hand facing you. You're gonna make your pour and then you're gonna just twist the tin away from you, okay? But if you see the tin, actually comes almost horizontal in my hand, but I keep the pour spout inside the shaker. So as I make my pour, I twist, 
and my elbow, watch my elbow moves down, and then I can stretch out my paw. Now once I've stretched out my paw and I want to finish, I can swing over the shaker using the hinge. Hello! Now you can perform this move in two ways. You can start from one side and twist and turn, which looks very nice, or you can stand perfectly still and make your twist and turn like this. This one is a finger twist with a flip. So, remember that finger twist in move I told you about? The bottle is literally doing a finger twist to a reverse pour. So remember that finger twist, we're gonna grab hold of the bottle, we're gonna make our twist, and then from there, I'm just gonna continue moving the bottle so I'm up in a reverse pour. Now the tin is doing a single flip, and I'm gonna catch it there, and then turn my hand over. So I'm gonna end up in this position. Now there's two ways you can make this tin flip. You can either throw the tin over your arm as you're performing the move like this, or you can simply do the flip to one side and then turn over into the paw. But if you see the paw is like this, turn, the tin comes underneath, and then I meet over on one side to make the paw. So I can come over the top, which is what you wanna aim for, or you can just do everything separated and then bring them together. <clears throat> Next up is the Vogue Plus One. Now the normal Vogue is just a switch over to pour like this, which I'm gonna teach you right now. Tennis grab with the bottle, tennis grab with the tin in this position. You're gonna bring the tin to the pour spout and then just turn, and that is the Vogue. But if you wanna switch around to the Vogue Plus One, then you pour, then switch around, boom. So starting from position one, once again, we're gonna make the Vogue and then I'm not really turning everything over. You can do, but I'm trying to keep the pour spout and the shaker together. And you're just turning, 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 turning. And that is a bottle twist that you're doing with the bottle. So look, take the tin away. This is exactly what you're doing. Then you're pouring, then you're stretching out, then you're cutting. And that is all it takes is pour, stretch, cut. Right, we had the Vogue plus one. Now it is the upside down Vogue. This time the bottle is underneath and you're placing the tin on top of the bottle. So using that hinge, hingey, hingey, you're gonna hinge over, place, bring the bottle up, place the tin on top. Then you're gonna turn your hand down, grab hold of the bottle and pressing against your arm, you're gonna hold the shaker in place and then you're pouring straight away. Be careful when you come over and you start that pour, you're pouring, so you've got to be fairly quick to finish off that pour. Now obviously if you're doing a double shot, it's fine, but if you're doing a single shot, then you've got to be fast. Next up is the levitating bottle. Okay, the bottle's not really levitating, but hopefully you'll get the idea because you're making a move under the bottle before we move on to the next steps. So, remember that hinge? We're using that. That's all you're doing with the shaker, that figure of eight hinge, which we've learned already. The bottle is just doing this, but what you wanna do is have that figure of eight under the bottle. Okay, so at first you can just do it without the throw, like this, okay, but, once you get used to it, you wanna throw and then make that figure of eight. So once you've done this first part, you're over here. You should have these fingers free. So that's when you grab hold of the bottle like this. So you go grab with sound effects and then you're gonna flip that tin. Whoop. So you swing under here, place, single spin and then you come directly over into a pour. So as you're flipping, you're following the shaker over with the bottle 
into a paw. Okay, the no snatch takeout is a snatch with a takeout. And this is how it works. You're gonna hold the shaker and tennis grab like this, ready to make your snatching move. If you don't know what a snatch is, I'll leave a link up there. I did a video on snatches already. And then remember that bottle finger twist? Boom, one more time. Boom, you're doing this. So you're gonna come over to there, then you're gonna continue moving it around. And as you move it around, you're gonna snatch the no snatch sort of takeout take the, the bottle with the shaker and turn it over quickly. And then from there, instead of move, keeping on moving, you're gonna take the bottle out and let the, mo the movement continue with the bottle. So you're moving like this, but take the bottle out with, the, with your hand. And as you bring that up, bottle over into a reverse pour, okay, you're changing the grip from here to here to move over to reverse pour. You're gonna use the hinge, hello, down here on the shaker to move your hand from this position to this position, boom, to make your paw, bosh. Right, the bottle twist swipe to pour is a really nice move and it's much easier than what you think. Remember that bottle twisting move I told you about already? That's all we're doing with this part of the move is we're making a bottle twist swipe to pour. So bottle twist swipe to pour. Bottle twist swipe to pour. The bottle is just doing that. So as we take the bottle out, we make the forward twist around the back of our hand. Okay, then we make the other twist around the inside next to our thumb. We continue down over, boom, into a pour, pouring in this position. Ready, just watch the bottle, boom, okay? So with the tin, you're throwing the tin over your arm. So as you do the swipe, the tin is coming over my arm, you see? As it comes over, I turn the tin over and I swipe and I pour. I can just go like this if I want to. So you can make the bottle twist, boom, to the pour but it's much nicer to add on that tiny little twist with the tin at the end. Just shows a bit more control over what you're doing. And it's a nice little surprise for anybody who's watching you make your moves. Yes! Next move is the bottle flurry to pour. Now the bottle flurry is also on the WFA gradings yellow level. So the trick here is you wanna take the tin like this in tennis grip, you're gonna bring the bottle up, you're grabbing the bottle from the speed roll like this, you're gonna flurry, so you're gonna do that bottle twist, hey, with the tin, coming over like so, but instead of moving on forwards, you wanna flurry and then down into the tin, once you're in the tin, you're gonna grab hold of the bottle with those two fingers. So you come over, pour. So you're kind of almost stabbing the bottle into the shaker like this. From there, I'm bringing the tin over, back the other way. So I've come over, stab, pour. Bring it back over the other way, grab hold of the bottle, and then finish off with a tin twist, stretch it out, and bosh, thank you very much. Now the tenth and final pour is the horry twist. Not horry for horrible, horry for horizontal. Because what we're doing is we're doing a horizontal hinging motion with the bottle and with the tin. Tin hinge, bottle hinge, 
but as we do both, we bring them over into this position. So we come around, inwards, up, the tin comes across over here and turns over, the bottle comes behind our head. So with the bottle, you're coming around, up, behind the head, over to your shoulder. So with the tin, you're doing a normal hinging movement. You're gonna come up, then you're gonna come back and swing it over to this position. Swing up, back, over to here. So you end up in the paw, right here. Now from here, you're gonna use that same grab we did on the previous move, drop the bottle in, grab the bottle, bring it here, swing it over, and we're back in the same position as before. Grab, twist, stretch, pour, thank you very much. Mm. Now if you're feeling very fruity, you can start adding all of these moves together and then swinging around. The more you learn how to do these finger twists and flurries, you can put it all together into one nice, Motion, yes. So there we have it, 10 super, super duper cool moves using those three techniques. There is many other techniques in there as well which you need to try and master, but I guarantee if you spend 10 minutes on these moves, trying them over and over and over again, you're gonna get them super duper 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 fast. Now if you wanna learn all those extra flourishes that I didn't teach you in the video, you need to go and join, ta-da! These legends right here who are supporting me over on the Patreon platform where they're gonna be able to absorb all of that information, learn all those little extra moves, just to add the extra flourish to the moves and the extra finishing touch where necessary. They're also getting access to the Three Minute Thursday series and other content that I'm putting on the platform, including live Q&A sessions every single month and advice through the personal messaging platform when they need it. So a massive thank you to all you guys and girls. I really do appreciate all your continued support and a very big hello and thank you to the new patrons that have joined. Right, we're coming to the end of the video. If you do wanna get your hands on one of these training bottles, there is a link down below. This is one of my practice training bottles. It's a rubbery bottle, it lasts you forever. Uh, in the link, you can buy it from my shop and we ship worldwide. But uh, that is it. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And until next time, I'll see you then.